Hello YouTube and welcome back to Be A Loser. In this video we're going to discuss why insulin resistance is actually a good thing. When someone is told that they are insulin resistant, they usually consider this a bad thing. And it's sound reasoning. I mean, insulin resistance is the initial cause of obesity and type 2 diabetes. But what we really need to look at is what causes insulin resistance in the first place. What is its root cause? Now many people will tell you that inflammation is the root cause of IR, but that's not really the case. Inflammation is the body's response to injury, so it simply can't be the root cause of IR. Think of it this way. Hundreds of years ago, doctors believed that blood was bad. Anyone who was injured and dying generally was bleeding. So the physicians believed that the blood was killing them. So what did they do? Well, anytime someone was sick or injured, they put leeches on them to remove the blood. I mean, if blood is bad, then getting it out of the body of a sick person must make them better, right? Obviously, more modern physicians realize that bleeding is just the response to the injury or illness, not the cause. There are many illnesses that involve inflammation. Cardiovascular disease, diabetes, neurodegenerative disease, obesity, cancer. But the inflammation is not causing the disease, it's only a response to it. The proof is in the pudding here. If inflammation was the cause of the disease, then anti-inflammatory medications would cure the disease. But we know too well that these meds do not cure heart disease, cancer, or obesity. So again, we must find the root cause of our insulin resistance. The first question must be that if so many people have IR, approximately 50% of the US population, then it can't just be that our bodies are poorly adapted. As we've seen from several other videos, if our bodies were so poorly designed, then our ancestors would have died out long ago. So perhaps the IR is actually trying to protect our body, but protect it from what? Well, we know that excessive glucose in the blood is toxic. So if it's toxic in the blood, then it must be toxic in the tissues of the body as well. Insulin doesn't actually remove the glucose from our bodies. It simply moves it out of the blood and into the body tissue, any tissue, anywhere in the body. So this isn't actually reducing the total glucose in the body. It's merely moving it around within the body. So if glucose is toxic, then it's natural for the tissues to protect themselves from it. So insulin resistance is protecting us from excess insulin, which is forcing glucose from the blood into the tissue. So the root cause of insulin resistance is, of course, insulin. And this is where our standard treatment of T2D is akin to leaching. Our doctor looks at our blood labs and sees all this toxic glucose. But he or she thinks this is the root cause of our IR. So instead of reducing the amount of glucose that's eaten or getting the excess glucose out of the body, they do the one thing they shouldn't and give us insulin, the actual root cause of our IR. And why do they do this? So that they can see your blood nice and free of toxic glucose. Apparently it doesn't matter that all that glucose is being forced into the tissues of the body. The doctor is overcoming the natural protective measures of the body, i.e. insulin resistance, and causing the tissues to rot. Instead of helping the patient, the doctor is actually making them worse. In fact, it's known that excess insulin causes fatty liver. A study showed that with an increase in carbohydrate-dense sugary foods over a three-week period, weight only increased 2%, but there was an increase in liver fat of 27%. So the insulin drives the excess glucose into the liver where it becomes fat. Fat is designed to be in the fat cells where it's kept safe from other parts of the body. Fat in the liver is not good, so the liver tries its best to push the fat out as triglycerides. This elevates blood triglyceride levels and exports the fat to other areas of the body, most notably the muscles and pancreas. As the pancreas becomes fatty, it produces less insulin because our body knows that the problem is too much insulin. So naturally, it will shut down production of it. So the fatty pancreas, along with our liver-induced insulin resistance, is protecting our organs from dying from excess glucose. 
The side effect of this is for the glucose levels in the blood to rise, but our organs are being protected. Normally, the kidneys would reabsorb all of the glucose passing through them, but the levels are now so high that the glucose is excreted through the urine along with a lot of excess water. We then lose weight as these large amounts of water carry out the excess glucose. This is the body's natural mechanism for removing excess glucose, lowering insulin levels, and bringing down body weight. But as a diabetic, we seek out the expertise of a doctor to help us. And what do they do? They look at the hyperglycemia or excessive blood sugar and prescribe, wait for it, insulin. The one thing of which our body does not want more. But this treats the hyperglycemia, the symptom, and it exacerbates the root cause, the hyperinsulinemia or excessive insulin. But once again, the doctor can say that he or she did their job and got that glucose out of the blood. It's been demonstrated through many studies that moving glucose out of the blood and into the body has no overall benefit. And this is exactly why we develop insulin resistance, to protect our bodies from toxic glucose. It's a good thing for us. And this is why doctors giving insulin to diabetics to overcome the IR is so damaging. Instead of treating the symptom, we need to treat the root cause. And the root cause is not the insulin resistance. That's just the body's response. The root cause is the excess insulin and glucose. And the best ways to treat those are to stop putting glucose in by eating a low-carb, high-fat diet, or by burning the glucose off with intermittent fasting, or we can do both, LCHF plus IF, and rid ourselves of the glucose and high insulin even faster. And that will end this video. We'll be back soon with another video in this series. I encourage you to subscribe to the channel to be updated when new videos post. As always, thank you very much for watching, and until next time, keep being a loser.